All right, everybody, welcome back to Digimon World. Final episode. Oh, Let's for do this. Fuck for this. <laughs> it's nearly over. I'm not, are there Digimon LPs out there that go on way longer than this one? I haven't even 100% of the game, just to clarify, so you know. Could be worse. Could be better. <laughs> so this is uh, Mount Infinity. I like the music. I love the music of this place, it sounds great. Uh, the actual visuals are a bit... Ooh, hard to tell where the fuck you are and what's happening at points. Otherwise it would be quite... I think the kind of Matrix 80s grid is kind of cool, so... Fuck! I didn't actually see Rockmon there because of the <laughs> green on the green. I really like it because it's like, right, we're going back to basics to oh, do this. Oh, so why is he called Rockmon? He's not rock-based. He's, he's just a, he's a, a data man. He's a data boy. He's a big data guy. Well, oh, think about know. Mega Man. Well, yeah, I what guess... Was like, Mega Man's first name? It was Rock, but I don't know if this that's a Mega Man. I'd be impressed if that is a Mega Man reference. Although that did pass my mind. Anyway... Let's kill Angry Dino. Angry Dino is dead. Oh, that battle was a bit of a pain in the ass. Having gone through Mount Infinity about three or four times, you know, just whilst recording this, I know I can now get through most of this dungeon without fighting any enemies. It is possible if you're very, very quick with your reflexes and you're very precise with your movements to get through this whole area without many battles. Probably about three or four total, but... That'd be cool. If you fought everyone, if you had a weird self-imposed policy of fighting everything you see, this whole area would be ridiculous. There are so many enemies to get past here. On that note, though, if you go to that secret shop, the uh, Numomon one, I believe, you can buy an item to keep enemies away from you, so... That also works if you want to We're make use of that. We eating garlic. <laughs> yeah. You just stank juice. You just cover yourself in sweet stank juice. Delicious. So let's murder some angels with my angry skelly dragon. I'm the good guy, just to clarify. I'm the hero here. You know there's actually an aftershave that smells like horse poo. Why does that exist? Because apparently, like, apparently it's got some, it causes women to have some sort of chemical reaction where they find a man more masculine and more appealing. That sounds like the kind of dumb shit that an MRA would promote because they think like cavemen and they're stupid and wrong about things. <laughs> and that's probably not the case because, I don't know, from personal experience, horse shit smells like horse shit and yeah. therefore bad. I've asked Holly to buy it for me and she said no. <laughs> <laughs> there's, your, there's your proof is in the pudding right there really, isn't it? Anyway, this is me doing some sweet Metal Gear stealth. Look at those skills. And they just get trampled by your <laughs> Digimon. <laughs> yeah. Also winning the fight, of course. That's how you do. You just step on them. Just step on your foes until they're gone. Hello, Rockmon. Like oh, you can see this one then. Oh, yeah. Well, I know I'm aware of them now. I'm hyper aware of Rockmon. I know to look out for those. Let's run down this way. Grab the, uh, well, we'll get the angels to move away first. There we are. Then I can take my Omni Floppy. That's probably not going to be very helpful for Final Dungeon, but whatever. Um, what does that do? Uh, heals HP and MP. One time use. It's just a healing item. But I already have like a shit ton of those just prepared for this. So, yeah. Oh, fucking Guru Mons. <laughs> that was dickish. <laughs> Alright, well. I guess what I've got to do is I've got to go back into that room and as soon as I enter, start running to the left so they don't... They can't cut me off. Half of this is just knowing what you're about to face and then tactfully avoiding it. That's Mount Infinity for you. And yeah, you only have to go into there as well. There should be infinity levels. <laughs> it just goes on forever. <laughs> the game's ultimate Sisyphean curse is you, you can't beat it. You just get stuck here indefinitely. Hello. Hello, friends. Let me just slide past you both there, don't mind me. I'm just doing you know, my thing. I'm gonna save the world. Superman once picked up a book that weighed of infinity pages. Uh, uh, that doesn't... no. <laughs> a book... That'd be a book that doesn't... That They, they wouldn't... no way... no. Yeah. <laughs> no. It weighed infinity because it had infinity pages in it and Superman lifted then it. Then the book would just be keep going forwards. 
It wouldn't. It would stretch out for infinity. It wouldn't be contained in as an object. Oh no, it was contained. No, that wouldn't. <laughs> it, no, though. <coughs> it's like as you turn a page, more pages appear. Eventually, that create like a black hole, and it would just suck everything into well, it. Well, that much mass. Superman the, picked it up. Yeah, if, in fact, that mass would just be a black hole. Uh, the, the Earth would be, the Earth is destroyed. Thanks, Superman. That was the time fault. that someone chained every planet in the galaxy together, and Superman flew them into the right places. Superman is capable of some Gonzo shit. Why are we talking about Superman? Because you said to try and stay on track. Oh, so you're actively trying to get away from did you? Well, we're now fighting Devimon, the established villain from before. The guy who's causing a load of this bullshit to happen. Kind of like with season one of the anime with the Dark Gears possessing people and making them violent. And did Devimon has a surprising amount of health. Isn't isn't he just champion? I don't think Devimon's even ultimate, is he? He's just a very strong champion. Yeah. But he is the devil. Yeah, I guess. I mean, that alone is probably enough to power the fuck out here. Anyway, he dead now. I stamped but on his head. But if these are all like computer stuff and that, unless someone programmed Devimon, how would a computer come up with the concept of the devil? I mean, I get it when they're based on like bones and skeletons and monsters, you know, like dinosaurs and other animals, but where would they get the concept of angels and devils? Uh, the programmers, I guess. I mean, in this case, we just found something out. Even Devimon was being possessed, so he's not even the main villain. He was just a pawn in this whole thing, so, and he dropped a uh, very upsettingly hard to spot quick chip. So we'll pick that up. That was almost hidden, thanks game. We'll use that because, you know, this is the last stretch anyway. And it's time for me to reveal something. This is my, uh, I believe my fourth time trying to record this, uh, trying to record Mount Infinity here. Do you know why? Because why? on the third time, I was getting through near enough perfectly. I was like winning, I was doing really well. And literally about three steps before I reached the final boss, I fucking died <laughs> of old age. Oh. It was, it was like, oh, it man. was like mind-numbingly pain. That is why I'm now trying to run through Mount Infinity so quickly with minimal battles because I am on a strict timer of how close, um, fucking, a truck here is to dying. I don't want truck to die because then I am screwed because I have no way of getting to this level of power again because I used all of my digi steroids. And yeah, New Game Plus ain't happening. Sorry, I'm blowing it all on uh, finishing the game here and now. All of those expendable items. So a lot of those steroids that you only get once, sort of thing. Oh yeah, yeah. The only way to kind of farm them is to do really high level tournaments, which uh, that, if you're strong enough to do that, you could probably beat the final boss anyway. And uh, the other one is by using uh, Dromojimon's digging shop, which takes ages because you have to wait like 10 days for him to dig up a chip. 10 in-game days, so... Yeah, no. Uh, this is like your... This is my only chance. This is my one shot. I cannot miss this chance to blow. This opportunity only came once in a lifetime, yo. I like that he didn't even respond to that with a flinch, not even the slightest smirk. He just completely sandbagged that. <laughs> just refused to acknowledge. <laughs> anyway. Last few rooms of Mount Infinity. Yeah. So basically the biggest fear I had about playing this game was the whole like you get towards the end and then your best one dies. Yeah, that was me. That happens. It sucked. You should I... have had footage for it. I don't show the f I mean an anecdote will do. Do you want to watch <laughs> another 20 minutes of this? <laughs> That's uh no, I just want to see it die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Well, if, you, if it's death you want to see, don't worry too much, I might have you covered there. So this right here is actually a super boss, so you don't have to fight this. This is here completely optionally. Uh, you get item, you get like stat boosting, you get stat boosting items for it, which does help with the final boss. But in terms of mandatory fights, you do not have to even bother with this one. But you're going to fight him anyway. Oh, of course, Megadramon. How can I not? Um, I believe Megadramon is actually an ultimate? Yeah, he's not a Mega. He should be Ultramon. Oh, <laughs> no, I mean, in terms of his actual level, I think he's a Mega. 
I think there are only two Megas programmed into this game. This Digimon and the final boss. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I might be thinking of the Metal Seedramon. That might... that one. Maybe that one. Or Metal Megadramon. I, I, whichever one with the Dark Master was. <coughs> that one. That one. Anyway. Let's kill this guy. He's actually pretty goddamn tough considering... Yeah. He's an optional boss near the end, so he has over 7,000 health. If you have a shit, shit million healing items, that is a number now, shit million. If you have shit million healing items, you can spam those, which I do, because I kind of have to, because it's his attacks also hit really goddamn hard. Yeah, like, what more than 1,000 to pop. Healing, please. So much healing, so many throws to get me through this. He's dodging all of my buster dives and I don't appreciate that. I'm gonna block your ice in return. Get steamrolled and eventually after quite a bit of bashing we managed to finish him off with one of these bad boys. You like your finisher move don't you? I really do. It's so good. It's just a missile to the face and I also buffed my attack stat there so. Nice. Yeah 2500 damage. Yes please. Get owned. And I take your offense chip. All my stats go up just that tiny little bit. Stats don't go up nearly as high as they should in this game for winning battles. There should be an incentive for battling and not just avoiding all the battles, but there you go. Let's get that offense chip. Can and... you play the game without battling anyone? Like a pacifist run? No, because bosses, mandatory bosses to even get this far, so. Sorry, you cannot be peaceful in Digimon. You must. Embrace the violence. Now anyway, I'm gonna grab you some more chips to get you stronger, make you strong. Chips for the soul. And uh, it's now time for us to go take down the penultimate boss and then the final boss. This is actually the last room of the game, I believe, so yeah. Let's -a go. When I say super boss, by the way, aside from that one, after you've beaten the game, you can come back into it. You can come back to the digital world and you can fight the final boss again with maximized stats. It's not worth it. They make it like intentionally anticlimactic, like nothing happens if you do that. It just, you just do it. So yeah. So we're going to beat this game and then we're done with it. No, no bonus episodes. Sorry, everyone. Don't you disobey me. We've come <laughs> this fucking far. You're about to die of old age. Eat the fucking offense chip. You bastards. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. So this is run... gonna be good. Yeah, it is pretty solid. The last two battles are pretty solid. So, the first one, before we uh, meet our true antagonist, is gonna be the Digimon that appears on the box cover and in the intro of this game. Ogumon. Yes, Agumon. No, no, slightly bigger. A bit more than that. Greymon. A bit more than that. Metal Greymon! The Digimon that had boob rockets. <laughs> that was never addressed that he uses boob rockets, but he does. You know the machine gun boobs from Austin Powers? That's what Metal Greymon yeah. does. But like, he goes from big dinosaur to getting a big mech arm. Armor for his head, okay, fair enough, because he already has a hard head, so enhancing that would make a good head, metal head. But yeah, then the, the chest torpedoes. Then his mega form is really small, and it's all yeah, just metallic. Small armor. Uh, well, I think it keeps it's... the same claw design as the Metal Greymon claw. I think the idea is that War Greymon is all of his power, but condensed, making him even more powerful. Because Metal Greymon is fucking um, War sorry War Greymon is fucking ridiculous and so, uses like yeah. the spirit bomb, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's just he's straight up Goku. He's basically Goku. So yeah, he's fire Goku. Oh, well, speaking of spirit bomb, that's not too far off. Fuck me, that hurt. And I'm also confused. This isn't going well. That Buster Dive did not fucking hit me. That's bullshit. That's a lie. That's incorrect. Jesus Christ, I'm not doing too well in this fight. I'm not doing great at all. Please stop spamming that move, it's the worst. Oh my god! <laughs> what are you do- what is this? <laughs> I am getting cheese to fuck right now. This is the kind of thing that I rely on when I'm battling. Like, just constantly stopping- Oh my god! 
Oh my actual fucking god, though. Come on, you can do this. I really can't. This game's bullshitting me right now. <laughs> paralysis! In all the fucking RPG games ever, paralysis is always the worst thing for me. I can't with this. I just can't. Can't, can't you cast uh, paralysis on yourself? But, well, I mean, that doesn't benefit anyone other than my opponent. Oh my shitting Christ, are you really joking me right now? I used it on Skyrim. Was that not- was that four paralyses in one battle? Yeah. Oh my Christ! <laughs> so yeah, you said you wanted to see one more death. Here's one more death for you. I am winning this, there's no fucking chance. I have 26 health and no healing items. Even my rockets aren't gonna save me here, come on. No, I'm, what does it? I'm fucked, I'm fucked. No. No, no I am. Up. Super fucked. Yeah, look how fu look how very fucked I am. I'm out. I don't have any restores. I call bullshit on that. So uh, yeah, this is me down to my last life, and it's at this point. Just to clarify, so it's from this point on that one run through Mount Infinity equals the rest of my lifespan. <laughs> so I have to run through Mount Infinity really quickly from this point on. So you've got a timer, and you can't lose a single battle. Yep. I have a time limit to get to the end, and I can't lose it. All I have to rely on is the one save file I made, which annoyingly, I made outside of Mount Infinity. So, whilst go powering through this to try and win it, I had to get through all of Mount Infinity, battling as little as I could, trying to conserve all my healing items, trying to do it quickly, so that I don't die of old age. It was a challenge, but once you're in that final boss room, you are sorted. There's no more, <laughs> there's no more stress from there, it's just kind of done. So here come that dark shot. This time he's I've got it, I've got his back turned, so I'm just gonna moidalize him. And we'll do a nice little uh Oh fuck. Um I should probably have just attacked him there. Um boo blazers, boot missiles, all of the boot missiles. We'll uh, end it with a megaton punch. There you go. Yay. Who are you? I'm you, but skeletal. Get owned. And a defense chip! Could have used that before the battle, but thanks. <laughs> that would have been helpful. Anyway, Metal Greymon is all like, hey, what the hell is going on? What's up? And... Yeah, I remember you from my nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> you are everything I hate. Bye. Do you know what's really bullshit? What? I found out if you lose to this final boss, you have to defeat Metal Greymon again to get to the final boss no. again. No. Oh no. So you do have to beat them one after the other to actually win the game. So no reprieve for you. Don't think you can have a break here. Not on your life, Sonny Jim. Let's do this. Final boss time. Dan, I have a challenge for you. You're not ma you are not allowed to make a single off-color joke during this exchange, okay? You're not allowed to make the joke that I, I know will, you'll want to I make. I will try. Okay, good. So this is our final boss. Analog Man. Not Analog Mon. Analog Man. Okay. <laughs> That's really dumb. <laughs> That's the opposite of Digimon. Analog Man. <laughs> it would have been. It would have made more sense if it were the kids, as you said. The kids on the playground would have been better here as main villains, like power hungry kids. They're obsessed with their video game. But anyway, Digimon should obey humans like slaves. And he's like, we're not, they're not slaves, they're our friends. And he's like, no, I'm pretty sure they're slaves. Let's fight to see what are better, slaves or friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. oh you, you know what this is doing to me. <laughs> Let's fight Machine Dramon. This is uh, a Mega Digimon. <laughs> Just a straight up fucking oh, Mega. You and uh, he looks rad as fuck. He, he actually looks more rad than my skeletal dragon does. And I'm a little bit jealous because you can't get Machidram on yourself. And uh, my favorite thing about him is his boss theme is so fucking good. Although his Buzz Lightyear button on his arm constantly disappearing and reappearing is really irking me. <laughs> Could you not with that, maybe? <laughs> That's really off-putting. 
<laughs> oh well, I'm gonna kill you now, anyway. Wow, that was not a good start for me. So, uh, off the bat, I feel like the odds are against me. As I'm being paralysed and electrocuted, and he has double my health, and he does more damage than me. And um, I can't make any jokes about analog, man. You can't make the joke that I know that you're sitting there just... This is my punishment to you for all the off-colour jokes you've made during the LP. Oh. All the jokes about killing the babies, or the... the uh, all of them, really. <laughs> <laughs> this is coming back on you now. This is my revenge, so, uh... This fucking attack is so cool. <laughs> I hate being hit by it, but it looks rad. I have 12 large recoveries, a lot of large MPs, and a restore, so... What are you doing? We've got one of those bugs in here, in the room. Oh, you're being attacked by a... Oh, you're being attacked by a... Go away! Bug! Ah! Oh, fuck, it's a wasp! Shit! I was doing a bit, and now it's actually angry at me! Fuck! <laughs> Leave me alone! I'm opening the window. I thought it was like an aphid or something! Ah! Get rid of the wasp! Help! <laughs> wow, I gotta give you props, Dan. You're not the one who derailed the final boss commentary. It was the fucking wasp! <laughs> Help me! Digimon, <laughs> save me! <laughs> oh, fuck, you're not recording this. Come on, come on, come on. Take it. Oh, stop me! Help! Oh no, Dan's left the room! <laughs> Fucking hell! Alright, he's gone. Dan's gone, it's just me now. Um. Is there, is there, it's right by you. Oh god. <laughs> this is one of those moments where you just wish I was like a webcam up here. Um. Go the fuck away! It's touching me! <laughs> Why are we being attacked by a wasp? It's close to the window now. <laughs> Get out of my apartment, please! Get out! Away, foul beings! <laughs> Is it gone? <laughs> oh, the windows are shut. Okay, it's gone. Fuck me. We did it, Dan! <laughs> we defeated the wasp! What? Oh, yeah, the let's play. <laughs> oh, yeah, the let's play. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, Dan! We stopped the wasps! <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! The last battle, and that's what we deal with! <laughs> I'm surprised neither of us was stung there. Um, <laughs> I think it was aggravated as fuck. Uh, <laughs> Analog Man. <laughs> so, Analog Man. <laughs> I can't, I can't, yeah. I can't, that was the ultimate derail. We had our own final battle. <laughs> that was our final battle fight, we did it. We survived! <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Analog Man is now being a huge dick and he's gonna try and take us with him. He's gonna blow himself up. Oh no, he's not gonna take us with him, he's gonna fucking bail and kill us. Which is a bit harsh that's, to do. That's a weird face. That certainly is a face. It's about to get weirder. So, uh... Yeah. This man is just going to murder a child. <laughs> Hi there, I'm really good at this uh, dominating this digital world, and now I will murder a child. A real child. Somebody's... somebody's child. Well anyway, for being such a huge murderous dick, uh, Analog Man is gonna get his comeuppance. We're gonna use the power of friendship to defeat him. Cop out. Eh, uh, eh. Uh. Well, it's not really a cop out. It, there's something a bit more tangible does come in to save the day. <laughs> that's a face. <laughs> that, that was that's actually us chasing the wasp around the room. That's, that's the faces we made as we panicked and screamed like man babies as we fought off the villain. That villainous bug. Alrighty, so um. Here we go, there's the guy we saved earlier. It's Edramon! He's gonna rescue us! How are you... <laughs> I mean... Wait, he could've just brought us to the top brought room. brought us here, yeah. Edramon, if you're not cons... Wait, Gigimon and friends, none of you thought this through. <laughs> this was all poorly thought out. But there you go, that's... Peace returning to Digimon World now that Analog Man has fucked off. He comes back in Digimon World 3, I believe? 
I never played these sequels because 2 is the most boring game I've ever played in my life. Like, puts me to sleep levels of boring, and uh, 3 I never really got that much into it. I kind of wish they just had more games in the vein of this one where it's like a Tamagotchi slash RPG. Yeah. An RPG with care mechanics is all I really want from Digimon World. So just like the Chow system from Sonic too. Like that if they could, yeah, if they if you could then do RPG battles with them. Yeah. You do? Well, you make them fight, so... And race? Oh yeah, yeah. Basically, I want, I want the Chow Garden as a full video game, but with Digimon instead of Chow. Anyway... So basically, Digimon Link's the game, the app game I was talking about. We sh I should probably play that. <laughs> well, this has been fun, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Um, there's not really much after the credits, so I've been David, this has been Dan. Final thoughts? Yeah. And that's the end of Digimon World, so I hope you all enjoyed that, I know I certainly did. I'm pretty sure Dan did as well. Uh, I'd like to thank my patrons for making this LP possible, uh, particularly Jack Mortar and Spencer Johnson, my two top patrons. As for future projects, I'm probably going to stick with some shorter LPs moving forward to go alongside the behemoth of an LP that is Final Fantasy X 2. So, do stick around for that, and uh, once again, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye.